Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, if you saw the previous video, uh, this one is better. Uh, so we got Koridon instead of Moridon. This is the Pokemon Center Scarlet ETB, even though it just says Scarlet and Violet for everything. Uh, you know, it's all the same set. It, it was different in Japan. You know, it had like, oh, you had to buy this booster box for these guys and this booster box for these guys. But we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get right into it here. I'm just going to do this. And here are the promo cards. Uh, I love, I, I actually really like both the co write on and the mo write on. Or the, yeah, my, my write on. But I love, you know, same thing. You can only get the Pokemon Center stamped card when you buy the Pokemon Center ETB. So, yeah, I, I just, I don't know why I like that. I just do. Things with, things with stamps are fun, right? It's like, oh, this has a special stamp. You know, like uh, back in the day you had the, uh, whatchamacallit, they were like the the build and battle kits and when you, for pre-release tournaments and they'd have staff on them. It's like, oh, that one has staff on it. Well, that's, that's much better. <laughs> so, all right, here we are. Just gonna get right into it because you've seen what's in the ETB. It's got other stuff, but yeah. Watch the previous video if you're curious about the sleeves and what the stuff looks like. It's different, but it has co co right on it. Yeah. All right, we got Karkledor, Muck, we got Palma, we got Klefki, and we got a regular rare Halucha. All right, and there's the code card, and on to the next one. So this uh, boy. I say it can't get worse than the box we had in the video before, but uh, it could. But I hope it. I hope it's not. Oh god. Ugh. Okay, we got Pokemon Catcher. It's just so weird, like seeing like you know you're opening like a pack of cards and an item can be like the first card you see when you open a pack of cards. Like that's kind of kind of interesting now. Clawcher, Dollop, Quaxley, Fortress, Rocky Helmet, Mabastop. Skeleridge. Okay, there. Oh, there we go. Oh, a double. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this. We got the Ralts Alt Art, and then we got the regular Gardevoir EX. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> like right in a row, like back to back. You love to see it. You love to see it. I'm gonna sleeve these up right away. I I honestly feel like the thing that is most appealing to me about this set is actually the the Ralts artworks um so they kind of have uh just focus on that they kind of have uh different artworks like for Ralts Gardevoir and Curlia so uh off camera I actually pulled uh this Curlia and so it's kind of neat right because it's like oh they're just moving into their house and even like the portrait and in, in the backs change and like they're all getting older and they have a family now and then a Gardevoir is them like you know, his grandmas and grandpas and stuff with all the grandkids. It's just, yeah, it's really cute. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And, uh, I mean, like, I'm, I'm hoping to actually get, like, the whole set kind of, like, graded even. Um, so that's, that's my new goal is to have that all graded, which would be, I don't know. I'm just a big fan of Gardevoir. I think it'd be really funny if there was, like, another alt and it was, like, Gallade or something, you know? And it's like a different fam, uh, like a different family. Yeah, like their neighbors or something like that. That would be funny. Okay, let's get into the next one. We got Skidoo, Quaxley, Scovet, Charcadet. Ooh, focusing. Electric Generator, Wug Trio, Judge, Slowpoke. Love Slow. Slowpoke. Uh, like alternate art for this is also a really funny one. I want that too. Uh, Varum and a Professor's Research and a Basic Energy. And there's the code card. Always a professor's research in every single set. A lot of, a very playable card, obviously. I just always, I wonder what the most expensive professor's research is. If you know that, you know what, leave it in the comments. Like, because uh, there are like, you know, full art professor researches from like, was it, uh, yeah, I think Professor Oak was a professor's research in the Pokemon 20th anniversary. I think they had it. Did they have another professor's research with like the? It was the professor from Pokemon Go. Man, I play Pokemon Go a lot. I should know this. Uh, man, I can't remember. But yeah, 
Leave a comment down below if you know what the most expensive, like, full art or rainbow rare professor's research is. Because I know it's a very playable card and a lot of people use it, you know, a lot of competitive decks because it's it's very easy. Oh, did I show this? Yeah, there you go. Because um, it's very easy to use. You know, it's just, I think it's just draw seven cards. It's like, everybody needs that. Like, uh, I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. I know this is a Pokemon channel. But, uh, you know, everybody needed Pot of Greed, and I feel like that's what that is. It's like, it's like Pokemon Pot of Greed. All right, we got Starly, we got Tarantula, we've got Waddrel. I can't remember. Floatzel, Team Star, Grunt, Lucario, I see something. Oh! <laughs> Another one! That's really funny. Oh my gosh. A lot of people want this Penny alternate art. Uh, I think that, I mean, this is some people's, like, chase card of the set. And so I, I know this isn't this is an art rare, so it's got a double gold star here on the bottom. I hope the centering on this is really good. Uh, oh yeah, it does look really good. Okay, I'm gonna I got a card saver for it right now. All right, well yeah, this is already better than the other bot. Unfortunately, you know you want to pull all the cards, and uh, both of these hits <laughs> I, I do already have. <laughs> but um, yeah, actually, hang on, I think I, yeah. I, whoop, come on. Get in there nicely. I'm very weird about, oh, is the centering bad from like the top to the bottom or is that just kind of how it is? I think, and that's just dust, I think, yeah. But yeah, let me push it down a little bit more, okay. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, I have it right here, okay. So here's the other one that I pulled <laughs> earlier off camera and everything, there you go, that's funny. It, it's fun. I do love. I I if you have not played Scarlet and Violet, I know there's bugs all over the place, and everybody just keeps talking about that. Well, I can't. I'm not gonna play that game because I hear all the bad reviews about it. It's like it's a good game. You know, it, it really is a good game. The storyline is so much better. The bugs in it are not anything that are like gonna kill you. You know what I mean? Like it's the quality of it is still better than any Pokemon game I think that they've ever had. I do think that they rushed it because you know they have to. You know, they always have to have something every three years. It's, it, how should I say it? It's like, it's it's very obvious that, uh, okay, yeah, those are just all the verses and stuff. Uh, it's very obvious that they had to, like, every three years there's a new generation so that we can have a new competition for worlds, we can do this, and a new meta and all that other kind of stuff. Um, you know, I heard that they spent three years making Legends Arceus, and, and it shows because that's probably one of my favorite games in the whole Pokemon, like, mainline series, uh, just because it was so different. Oh, this is cool. Oh, Spide Ops EX. There you go. Well, at least it's another hit. Okay. Very cool. I think the, the alternate art for this is also very good uh, because it plays into, uh, is Tarvantula in here? No. Um, but it plays into that. Is, oh, here's the code card. Sorry. I hope I, that, yeah, with the code card in the back like that now, I really hope I don't forget to show it. <laughs> I'm going to make it a point to make sure I keep showing it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, what was I going to say? But the, the alternate art goes into, like, the... Uh, Sp Spide Ops goes into its pre-stage form. It, it looks really cool. Like, it's one picture. Like, the old Heart Gold Soul Silver, if you remember the double cards that uh, like, oh, here's one half of Lugia and here's like Lugia and Ho-Oh's body and here's like the top half of Lugia and Ho-Oh's body. It was, I like this Crocorock too. Or okay, anyway, I'm, I'm getting on it. Okay, uh, Satadin, Flaffy, Curlia, Mareep, and a regular Dondozo. And there's the code card, I'm not gonna forget it. I do love Dondozo, big Dondozo fan. All right, let's get the, you know, we need to make up in this box quite a bit just because the box that we had beforehand was so bad. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that the algorithm comes back for us here. Grievard, I love the alt art of that, love that. Spupa, Metadite, Sandaconda, Katie, Star Raptor, B-Sharp, Dolov, and Didi. I think this, in, I don't think I have this in Didi either. Basic energy, and here's the code card. Unlisted leaf energy. All right, how many packs we got left? We got three packs left. Let's see if, let's see if come on, we gotta get at least, if we can get two more hits. If we could get two more hits, that would be really cool. We did have, I would say five or six is the average here. Oh, Alola Mola. Oh, this is like the, uh, I think this looks like the same artist that made that Giratina V alt art. Toad's Cool, Rotom, Youngster, Blissey, Jacques, 
Sanaconda, Chansey, and uh, Rever Room. Rev or I'm sorry, Rev of Room. Yeah, this is like the car that you face in all of the, uh, uh, what are the Team Star. Yeah, the Team Star bases and everything. So yeah, I think Varum and Rev Rev of Room are. I think they're cool. I like I like the concept of them. I love all the new Pokemon really. I'm trying to think if there's one in particular like I dislike, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. It's so weird. Still seeing an item like as the first card. Okay, Energy Search, Grimer, Bruxish. Nobody likes Bruxish. Bruxish. Why would you put... Yeah, it doesn't need... Cacnea, Electric Generator, Wugtrio, Judge, Alola Mola, Pokeball, and a Klefki. And a Psychic Energy. Shout out to Nightmare Pokemon. And there is the code card. All right. So, we got five... I, yeah, I would consider that five hits in this box. Let's see if we can add to that total to make up for the only two hits that we got in the last one. All right, come on now. Let's get some last pack magic here. Come on. All right. Chansey, Rare Candy, Fido, Dedenne, uh, Floragato, Floragato, Zangoose, Stonejourner, Spideops, Saviper, and a King Gambit. Okay. So, no. Oh, hang on. And here's the code card. There you go. All right. So, no huge, but, uh, or not a lot of hits, but we did get good hits. So, you know, Spideops, I would consider this kind of like the V. This uh, Arcanine EX, when it's terrestrialized like this, uh, this is what I would kind of like equate as like a, a V Max or like a V Star because this is textured. Like this V is not textured. And this is what I'm considering like an alternate art or like a, an ultra rare. Uh, this is like, you know, on the last page of the book and all that kind of stuff. And this is kind of like a Galarian Gallery card. You know, like an alternate artwork. And yeah, this is just a normal V card. So, you know, we did get a lot. I love the double guard of our pack. Best part of the video for sure. Uh, I know that everybody loves this Penny. Everybody loves Penny as a character. Um, but, you know, uh, Miriam is the alternate art trainer that everybody wants. So, but I'm still very happy that we pulled one here. <laughs> Maybe I can trade this for something else, you know, like another alt art trainer. All right. I will see all of you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.